Hi children, I've got a book here about the sun. It's an information book, a non-fiction book. Here it is, it's called Blast Off the Sun. And right at the beginning, we've got a contents page with all sorts of information that I can look up using the book. And here at the beginning, we're going to find out about the sun in the solar system. I'm not going to read all of this book because we're going to do some bits together. The sun is at the centre of our solar system and without it, the solar system would not exist. All the planets, moons and asteroids in our solar system orbit around it. The sun is a star. This means it creates light and heat and it's the closest star to the Earth. You see thousands and thousands of stars away in the sky, but they're much further. So I'm going to make a sun. I have got a piece of card that I've drawn around. And I've drawn around, now it would be much bigger than this, but I'm just going to, I've used the plate and I've quickly drawn around it like this. Just going to cut out a yellow circle and I am going to write the word sun on it. And my sun, I have to remember, is a star. The sun is actually our closest star, a great big ball of burning helium gas, 93 million miles away. That is further than anything that you can imagine. I'm going to scrunch up some tissue paper. And all those stars up in the sky up there will have planets. Most of them will have planets that orbit them, that go round. So the sun is much bigger than all of our planets. I am screwing up some tissue paper and I'm going to stick it on. So we know that it's the sun. I'm not going to do loads, but if you want to make yourself a yellow and orange sun with red on it, because it is burning so bright and it is so, so hot. Now, what we're going to do, you and me today is we're going to make a solar system. A solar system means things that orbit the sun, okay? Planets that orbit the sun. And you will need eight round things. Could be a ball, could be a plate, could be a saucer, little plates, big plates, lids off things. And we're going to do the planets together. Here's my sun. It's not great, is it? but it's going to be good enough for this. I'm going to put the sun in the middle on the ground of my solar system. There it is, that burning star at the centre of everything. And without it, we wouldn't exist. And just think, we can see so many stars up there and so many, and there's been planets found in our universe that aren't even orbiting our sun. They're orbiting other suns or other stars. Okay, so we're going to start off with the planet that is closest to the sun. I've got Satsuma. Here it is. Mercury. Here's Mercury. Mercury, my little Satsuma there, orbits the sun. And because it's the closest, when it goes round the sun, it takes 88 days. That's like it's setting off at New Year and being finished by the end of March. Here it goes, 88 days. It's called Mercury because Mercury was a god, a messenger god in the old Greek gods and was so fast taking messages around. And because Mercury is the closest, it's so fast to go around the sun. Next comes Venus, my plate. Here's Venus next. Venus. Now, strangely enough, although Mercury is closest. Venus is hotter because Venus has got a blanket of gas that goes round it and keeps it really, really hot. We call Venus our sister planet. Venus, because it's about the same size as Earth, my basket is Earth. Here we are, Earth, where we live. We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, and next comes Mars. Mars, the red planet. Mars is called it because Mars 
was the god of war, the Roman god of war. And they thought it looks, Mars looks red and it looks angry. So Mars comes next. Mars is the second smallest. Mercury's the smallest. Venus comes next. That's the hottest with its blanket of gas. Earth is about the same size as Venus, but Earth is the only planet that we know of in our solar system to have life because we've got water and we're just the right heat. These two are too hot. Mars is too cold. Earth, the Goldilocks planet, not too hot, not too cold. Earth, where we live, and then Mars. And they're trying at the moment to send, um, they've sent probes to Mars to find out what's underneath their little Mars um, rovers to like little cars, buggies to go around to find out what's un under there. Now, next, I've got some butter beans because these are all solid planets. They've all got solid ground, but between them and the next planets are asteroids. These are little broken bits of rock that were there from when our solar system began. It's like we're chopping a piece of wood and there were little bits of sawdust. These are bits of rock that go all the way round like that. It's an asteroid belt, they call it. Here it is, look at it going all the way round. I'm gonna surround, these are the inner planets, surround my planets with asteroids. And those are our solid, rocky planets and they're all much much smaller than the planets that are going to come next okay so next we're now getting really big planets we've got mercury venus earth mars and now it's the biggest planet of them all jupiter jupiter look at my great big plate jupiter but all these planets put together are still not as big as our sun jupiter the largest planet in our solar system, but it's made up of gas. If you tried to land on there, you'd go through like clouds until you got to that little core in the middle. It's a great big gas giant. I'm going to put it here because I am running out of space. Let me move my chair back, Jupiter. Next comes Saturn. Saturn, the beautiful planet with the beautiful rings of ice. Now, you may think we've got the only moon, but Saturn has got, at the moment, 82 moons, and Jupiter has got 79, but they keep finding more of the moons. They're also trying to find out if one of the moons, Europa, that's neat, that orbits um, Jupiter, could possibly have life. We're trying to find out that, Scientists are trying to find out now. I need to move my chairs even further back. Jupiter, Saturn, what's going to come next? Next, it is Uranus. Here it is, Uranus. Another great big gas giant, but even further away than Neptune. Neptune, Neptune, a bluey colour. And the god of the sea was... Um, was Neptune and so they, um, astronomers thought it looked blue like the sea. Now for Neptune to go all the way round the sun like this it takes 165 years Neptune because it is so far to orbit it. So let's have a look at our planets again. Mercury Venus, Earth, and Mars. Our asteroid belt coming round here. Solid planets and gas giants. That is our solar system, made up of plates and round things and bits of butter beans or pasta for our asteroid belt. Now, I have a song to teach you to help you remember the planets because I think they're so amazing and it goes like this 
the planets orbit the sun and you can name everyone. Should we try that? Remember orbit means goes all the way around. The planets orbit the sun and you can name everyone. So take a deep breath, get your brain in gear, get yourselves ready, let everyone hear. Let's do that, so take a deep breath. So take a deep breath, get your brains in gear, get yourself ready, let everyone hear. Are you ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, whizzing round the sun, the biggest star. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus too, and don't forget Neptune, all of you. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, whizzing round the sun, the biggest star. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus too, and don't forget Neptune, all of you. The planets orbit the sun. You see, I can name everyone. Wow. So I would love you to make your own solar system. I would love to see if you can put out your plates or your uh, lids or baskets or fruit. You could have a red tomato for Mars. You need your biggest one being Jupiter. See what you can do. Send a photo. Remember that asteroid belt that comes after Mars that's all the bits of broken rocks. Have a great time doing that. Take a photo and send it in to me. Bye, children.